Okay, and we're back. That was my new intro that I quickly made off the spot because honestly, I miss having an intro. Other than that, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the ego. And also, if you're one of my viewers out there who have a YouTube channel, you might want to listen up. Now, at the time of recording this last night, Cult of Dusty posted a video called What I Learned from Cheating, Divorce, and My Cringy Midlife Crisis. I suggest that you all check it out. The link will be below. However, it really hit me close to home in a few different areas, and I'm going to explain some things that I wanted to talk about after seeing this video. Now, number one, when I mention ego, I'm not saying, oh, Cult of Dusty had a big ego. That's where you all went wrong. Yada this, yada that. No, um, I'm not doing the ego finger pointing. Um, I think that in of itself is kind of egotistical, but, but it had me thinking of something I wanted to talk a long time ago about, and is that, you know, we talk about how the ego is this mask we wear. However, from my experience and what I've tend to noticed is that our ego is what wears a mask and it wears many masks. Uh, it doesn't just wear one, it can change. Um, if you watch Colt to Dusty's video, I mean, you know, he had an ego, of course, before anything happened. I mean, of course people do. And you say, well, it becomes inflated. Well, people change whenever their egos inflate. They're not really the same. It's not the same ego that they had before. The point of the video is that this ego that we have can change masks. It, it can technically switch up on us without knowing. And the thing is, is it's that effect of stepping over the line. This is something that a lot of churches teach. This is what I learned whenever I was a young Christian. You know, the devil will pull you over the line step by step, and then you turn around and the line's already gone. Um, you see a lot of people um, who get famous really quick fall into this pitfall. And honestly, it's something that I've worried about because I don't want to be the fool out there to say, oh, no, it won't happen to me. It's like never drinking before and then saying, oh, yeah, I could kill the bottle just fine. No, <laughs> you're, you're, gonna, you're not going to get the chance to kill that bottle. I, I guarantee it. Um, at least not if you have the same body weight as me. But you will you'll definitely you'll puke, you'll black out. Who knows? But let me tell you, uh, you won't just handle it like you think. And for those of you uh, who have YouTube channels, especially those of you who have been doing the HYHOs on recently from Reddit, um, you know, not all of us are going to pop off. Um, there's, of course, the chance, is, the chance is there. But if it happens, I want you to know that you need to be ready for this thing that you cannot actually be ready for. You can't really be ready for something that you've never experienced before. And so just the best thing to do is to not feel so, to not be so gullible to yourself to think that, oh, it can never happen to me. Because the thing is, is that you don't know who this happens to or where. It's, it's below the scenes. It's below the surface for anybody to see, you know. Some of the YouTubers, you'll see it go everywhere. You'll see them go through a psychotic mess like FusiTube, but not all of them have it for the world to see. A lot of them don't go to that extremity, but it is something that, you know, if you were to pop off as a YouTube channel, you are going to get those side effects. You're, you're going to get a big head. Um, it's just going to happen, and I have not been there, and so I cannot give the advice for that. All that I can say is that I know it will happen. It will manifest in some way if it does happen. Which I guess that's uh, that's just common sense. But what I'm trying to say is that if this channel were to pop off, I know that you know my frame would change in a way, and I don't know which way it would change. Um, the best thing to do, as I've said previously in the self mastery series, is know thyself. And I know I quit doing the whole thing. I didn't really want to preach, and I didn't think my advice was all too great. But if you'd like to check some of it out, you know, feel free. But the ego wears many masks. Um, there's three forms that it can generally take that I've seen uh, very quickly. You can get the group ego where you're behind uh, some sort of movement. You know, we, we all attach our ego to the group ego. Um, I'm, I'm not out of these uh, bounds. Everybody has an ego. Everybody's ego will switch up on them. Everybody's ego will inflate. It'll go down at times. Um, <laughs> nobody 
is outside the pieces of the checkerboard, so to speak. And so there's the group type of ego. And then there's the individual. And by individual, I do not mean yourself. I mean when you attach that ego of yours onto another person. And so if somebody were to, you know, attack that person verbally, physically, um, you feel as if it's happened to you. Um, this happens in movies whenever you see a character that you really like in a way um you know get hurt or you know just something bad happens to him you feel it's 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 more minor than you know real life and attributing your ego to real people but it does happen and then you have the third one that i've noticed which is the self and that's kind of where i see that cult of dusty uh, that kind of happened to him he he got a self side ego there's the group the uh, um, attributing it to another individual or the self um those are the three main ways I've seen it manifested, at least. Um, this isn't some absolute knowledge of actual, like, egotistical psychology. Um, this is what I've noticed. And so, for an example of, like, attributing it to someone else, um, you know, when I made the God's number one fan video, I tried to make it uh, clear that it wasn't a, I'm trying not trying to bash Christianity. So, I wanted to get as many of the group egos away from being like, oh, you know, screw you, you said this, I'm a Christian. Um, however, there are going to be some that do that, but I did mention that it's personal to Rachel Stevens. So for the people that will attack me, um, if, if they get the chance, you know, verbally over the fucking internet, um, it will be those people who have attributed their ego onto Rachel Stevens. And so therefore they feel as attacked uh, by the words that I say. See, the thing is, is that we need to be fighting our own battles. We waste a lot of fucking time, um, fighting these stupid battles that don't even have anything to do with us most of the time. Um, it's, it's honestly one of the best things you can do for yourself. And so, you know, it's one thing that I've also hoped that my viewers don't attribute their ego onto me. Um, let me fight my own battles. You know, if anybody makes like a, if anybody made like a people suck version of me, um, I'd probably watch it. You know, I'd probably take it to heart not like, oh, wow, your words hurt me, but I'd actually think about what they said. Um, you know, because some people, uh, their egos can get a little riled up like a wild dog and they can be like, are you, uh, uh, they, they, and they can like literally freak out and they can act so irrational and do things as far as going out and shooting up pizza shops. See, I noticed that the people who have really big egos are the ones who are fighting others battles, obviously, but they're calling them their own it's usually when they're they're fighting another person's and it's it's normally not the group a lot of people point oh they've got an ego they've got an ego but what they're doing is they're pointing oh they've got their ego attributed to a group that i'm not for therefore they have an ego and then you've got the person on the other side of the group ego who's like they have an ego because that's not my group that's their group and so you've got both sides screaming at each other and the biggest egos of all uh you tend to see in fame as i said is the self one um you know, people talk about this, you know, you get the Lucifer effect, which can be interpreted many ways, which I don't want to get to in this video. But the thing is, is to, you know, look around and you have to cut out the bullshit. <laughs> um, I'm not just talking about news and media and this and that. Because, you know, they definitely do get us fighting fights and battles that aren't really necessarily ours. Uh, ones that we would not even think about. I was talking to someone recently who was talking crap about the government funding certain things. And this was a Christian. And the thing about that was, was that I mentioned, oh, well, they're also funding this. And it was something that they totally would not have been for. And they were like wait, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, there's probably like a million other things that I could bring up that would make you hop on this egotistical bandwagon and be like, whoa, 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 I need to fight this fight. We can't fight all of them. Um, this is where you get, you need to pick and choose your battles. This is something that my mom actually beat into my head as a kid, basically, to fight, to pick and choose your battles, even though sometimes she was a very bad example of it. It's something that she's left me with to this day. And it's something that almost kind of rung in my ears while I was watching the Dusty's video, even though he necessarily, like, you probably wouldn't even see that in the video. But, you know, the fall that he had came from his ego attributing it to itself, um, getting the stereotypical big head, and it ruined him. Um, he quit fighting the battle that he should have instead of, 
you know, like he said about cheating on his wife of 16 years, you know, he should have been fighting the battle to, if he wanted to be with her, if he actually like, you know, some people say, oh, well, you cheated. He didn't really love her or this and that. I don't, I don't care to make those arguments right now. You know, things happen. Um, it's not an unnatural thing. Like people want to make it out to be like this completely just immoral thing. Um, shit happens. And, you know, he does say, you know, he's been with somebody for four years now and he's happily with them. And of course, you know, that is a hindsight bias. But, you know, the point he's trying to make is, you know, you have a chance to fix something right now that, you know, you might buy this righteous feeling for the moment, um, but it can completely ruin you for the rest of your life. And so it's really important. And I think it falls in on picking and choosing um, the specific battles that you really need to be fighting in your life. And that's really all I had to say today. I'm surprised I was able to get this video out because as I said in the last video, I've been super damn busy. Got a good amount of people hitting me up wanting to do some work with me. And so for all of you that have hit me up, I'm going to try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, just, just give me some time. Uh, that's all I need. Um, however, if you can't wait, I completely understand. But if you have given me an open opportunity, I want to thank you all for that. Other than that, um, we've got one more Reddit version of the HYHO. I'm going to try to get it out next week. We're going to be going over Mikey Slice and Fire Your Landlord. So if you want to go ahead and go and check out those channels already, go ahead and look them up. We're going to be going over them next video. And then after that, I'm starting a little program that I'd like to call Beyond Viewed Straight. It's going to kind of be my little version of <laughs> Beyond Scared Straight, except it's going to be with my specific Team 10, technically, the people we've been doing the HYA Joes on. Um, I'm going to explain deeper about what that is, um, but I want all of you who I have reviewed so far to definitely come by and watch that video. Other than that, if you like this video, please go down and subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Uh, I was talking shit about the notification button and how you didn't need to click it because I always post on Sundays, but recently it's been off. So you might want to click that notification button and get the notification when I do make a video. I usually only post four times a month, so don't worry. I won't be all up in your ass. Other than that, I will for you all to prosper and have a great day.